explanation of features included in this edition. The compact edition of the ESV Bible includes a number of valuable features to encourage the reading and study of the Bible. A brief description is provided below explaining the purpose and use of these features. Section Headings Section headings have been included throughout the text of the ESV Compact Bible. While the headings are not part of the Bible text itself, they have been provided to help identify and locate important themes and topics throughout the Bible. Textual Footnotes Several kinds of footnotes related to the ESB text are provided throughout the ESB Bible to assist the reader. These footnotes appear at the bottom of the page and are indicated in the ESV text by a superscript number that follows the word or phrase to which the footnote applies, e.g. Isaac, Superscript uh, letters that precede a word indicate cross-references. See explanation on the following page. The footnotes included in the ESV Bible are an integral part of the text and provide important information concerning the understanding and translation of the text. The footnotes fall mainly into four categories, as illustrated in the examples below. Types of textual footnotes 1. Alternative translations Footnotes of this kind provide alternative translations for specific words or phrases when there is a strong possibility that such words or phrases could be translated in another way, such as, or keep awake, see Matthew chapter 26 verse 38, and, or down payment, see Ephesians chapter 1 verse 14. In such cases, the translation deemed to have the stronger support is in the text while other possible renderings are given in the note. Number two, explanation of Greek and Hebrew terms. Notes of this kind relate primarily to the meaning of specific Greek or Hebrew terms as illustrated by the following examples. A. Notes about the meaning of names in the original languages, such as Isaac means he loves, see Genesis chapter 17 verse 19, and Simeon sounds like the Hebrew for heard, see Genesis chapter 29 verse 33. B. Notes that give the literal translation of a Greek or Hebrew word or phrase deemed too awkward to be used in the English text such as Greek girding up the loins of your mind see 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 13 C notes indicating that absolute certainty of the meaning of a word or phrase is not possible given our best understanding of the original language, e.g. Hebrew words occurring so infrequently in the Old Testament that their meaning cannot be determined with certainty. Such words are identified with a note stating that the meaning of the Hebrew is uncertain. See e.g. Joshua chapter 17 verse 11. D. Notes that indicate the specialized use of a Greek word such as brothers, translating the Greek word adelphoi. See e.g. the extended note on Romans chapter 1 verse 13 
corresponding to the first occurrence of Adelphoi in any New Testament book and the uh, abbreviated note e.g. on Romans chapter 7 verse 1 corresponding to the subsequent occurrences of Adelphoi in any New Testament book and sons translating the Greek word huyoi see e.g. Romans chapter 8 verse 14 see also the discussion of Adelphoi and huyoi in the preface 3. Other Explanatory Notes Footnotes of this kind provide clarifying information as illustrated by the following examples. A. Notes clarifying additional meanings that may not otherwise be apparent in the text such as leprosy was a term for several skin diseases. See Leviticus chapter 13. B. Notes clarifying important grammatical points that will not otherwise be apparent in English, such as in Hebrew, you, is plural in verses 1 to 5. See Genesis chapter 3 verse 1. C. Notes clarifying when the referent for a pronoun has been supplied in the English text, such as Greek, he. See, e.g. Mark chapter 1, verse 43. D. Notes giving English equivalents for weights, measures, and monetary values. Number 4. Technical Translation Notes Footnotes of this kind indicate how decisions have been made in the translation of difficult Hebrew and Greek passages. Such notes occasionally include technical terms. For an explanation of these terms, the reader is referred to standard Bible study reference works. See further the section in the preface on textual basis and resources for an explanation of the original language text used in the translation of the ESV Bible and how the translation of difficult passages has been resolved. Cross-reference footnotes In addition to the numeric textual footnotes, the New Testament portion of this edition of the ESV Bible includes two kinds of cross-reference notes. These are identified alphabetically and follow the numeric notes at the bottom of each page. These include, number one, direct quotations from the Old Testament. Indirect quotations and allusions are not included. And number two, parallel passages in the four Gospels. These cross-references are included to help the reader understand the relationship of the New Testament to the Old Testament and the harmony of the Gospels in the New Testament.